Welcome to the Two Brew Review. We are in the final week of our Halloween candy beer pairing review. Uh, but before we get to that, we actually have a special uh, twofer episode on this week's TBR. Because before I get to the um, Halloween candy pairing, um, I did want to highlight uh, another very uh, popular beer style this time of year, and that is the pumpkin beer. So I thought we would uh, sample a uh, pumpkin beer. Um, is, uh, of course, the, the season uh, being fall, you see all kinds of different variations of pumpkin ales out there. They have become extremely popular uh, as, a, as a fall and winter seasonal brew. Um, but uh, back in colonial America, pumpkin beers were often brewed out of necessity uh, because there wasn't a lot of cereal grains uh, readily available, so they had to use other fermentables, and pumpkins uh, were available. So um, this is a bit of a, of a tip of the hat to, to colonial America. Uh, but uh, as I said, pumpkin is uh, ales, they've been available now for, gosh, I've seen them on the shelves for at least a couple of months and uh, there's no shortage of different uh, styles out there. So we're gonna um, try this particular guy that I've not had before from a new brewery out on the East Coast. This is called uh, Forbidden Pumpkin. So this is, uh, make sure I get all of the details on this. This is an Imperial Milkshake IPA with pumpkin spices, vanilla, and milk sugar. And this is from uh, Abomination Brewing Company. Uh, it, it is uh, distributed by 12% Brewing Company, and these guys are out in the Northeast, out of uh, New Haven, Connecticut. So interested to try something uh, from our friends off the East Coast. Uh, we got this big old 16 ounce can. We've got yeah, ABV on here of 9.3%. So it's definitely a, it's it's a definitely a, a, a big boy. So let's go ahead and uh, check this out. Glass. You've got kind of a nice orange, whoa, hazy orange goldish uh, pour. You've got kind of a yellowish head that's that's pretty darn persistent, pretty darn clingy. Oh yeah. So <clears throat> um, lots of aromas. The, the citrusy hops are definitely coming up in the nose. Definitely, you know, you're getting into an IPA, but also I'm getting those uh, like the some of the pie spices and a little bit a little bit of the of the dairy in there as well interesting uh it's definitely got a like a, a milky ipa um combo going on in the aromatics cheers hmm wow so very distinct flavors definitely getting that the citrus and the grain of the ipa so you definitely got the strong IPA beer-like uh, qualities, but then also getting that that creamy, milky sweetness from the lactose, and definitely get a nice little hit of vanilla in there as well. Hmm. Now, once the the hops have kind of calmed down here with the second drink, now I'm picking up some of those um, the baking spices, like the pumpkin pumpkin pie spices, and um, I'm actually getting a nice kind of warming. Uh, sensation from the beer. Part of it's because of the alcohol, but also I think part of it is because there's a lot of cinnamon in here. So I'm kind of getting the warmth and the heat uh, from the from the cinnamon. Um, very interesting, and it's got the uh, creamy mouthfeel uh, from the uh, from the lactose. Hmm. But all throughout, top to bottom, you're definitely getting those. Uh, uh, Juicy hop um, characters like a New England IPA, the the real citrusy uh, hop character. You know, it's um it's a very adventurous effort, um, but it kind of reminds me of a like a New England IPA that's colliding with a pumpkin pumpkin pie with whipped cream, and I, yeah, I'm not sure that there's any survivors in this crash. It's I, I don't they're too polar opposite, and a lot of times it's good to have. Uh, contrasting styles in your food and beverage products but for whatever reason I did the, the aftertaste of the hops along with the pie spices and uh, and the pumpkin character um, it's just it, it's creating some um, odd conflicts in my flavor profile that I don't necessarily find that appealing um, so an adventurous effort um, 
I never had an IPA that's had uh, that's had these kind of a, a pumpkin uh, elements to it. So I'm glad I tried it, but I don't know if I would try something like this again. So uh, so there you have it. Uh, this is the Abomination Brewing Company's Forbidden Pumpkin IPA. If you get a chance, it's definitely worth a try, um, and and would be a, a lot of fun to share at your Halloween party. So with that, we are going to get to the big finale. Of, uh, of Halloween candy and beer pairings. So I saved this one for last. So we are going to uh, pair a beer <coughs> with the classic, good old candy corn. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Two Brew Review. Hope everyone has a safe and happy Halloween. Cheers.